Okay, we got a new DaVinci Resolve we gotta go through. Okay, so I'm pretty damn psyched about this. There's a new update in DaVinci Resolve. It's a better version, but still DaVinci Resolve 15. Revolutionary tools for editing, color correction, audio post, and now you get unlimited creative flexibility because DaVinci Resolve 15 makes it easy for individual artists like me. When you get into DaVinci Resolve in the media browser, there's not much that's changed, but I think this is a pretty big change. It's more fluid how you can uh, run through, especially the audio files. First of all, you see the waveforms, so you can, just by glancing at the browser, you can see where the stuff is. Yeah, the edit page, not huge changes, but I'm guessing that it's more stable and uh, hopefully at least it, it is more stable. But I have to try more in order for um, me to know. And then you have the sound library. So let's go for like driving. I want something with driving. So it's super quick, finds all the driving clips that I can imagine and then you can just play them straight away. But this is a big, big ass thing for me uh, because I do a lot of sound uh, design while I edit. I think that that's the best way of doing it basically. You edit and you do the sound design as much as you can to kind of rough it out to get the right edit. Because uh, without sound it's not going to be the same edit. But anyway, the Fairlight effects are more sophisticated. And at first I was thinking, okay, but in Fairlight, you have EQ already, so why would you want to use EQ on a separate file most of the time, especially if you do YouTube? And then I realized that you can still not copy uh, within Fairlight. <sighs> if you're listening, can you please make it possible to copy effects in the Fairlight? menu. Here you can. Within the edit page uh, you can copy and paste these. So that will make it more simple to get the vocal rights for uh, voices and, and all those things and cleaning them out and all that. Putting effects on like reverb and delays and yeah, bunch of stuff. And then we got the titles. Because here we got fusion titles. Uh, and I haven't played much around with this but this is going to be massive because the whole titling and all that will be much more sophisticated within the program but also you have added fusion so that's going to make it even more in depth it's going to be like having you know after effects on steroids within davinci resolve davinci has been the number one or at least the top uh, grading tool out there for professionals fairlight has also been that fusion which we're going to talk a little bit more about has also been that and they've baked the freaking thing into the same package? That amazes me. It's how I wanna work. I don't wanna go from program to program. It's just a matter of like the software companies wanting to earn money that makes them different. But get on to the point. What's new? Fully built in fusion, visual effects and motion graphic. And this is a tiny feature, but, but it hasn't had a good support for subtitling. This is not, uh, thing that other programs don't have but when you have these two timelines let's say you have two different edits uh, you can actually stack them like this so you can have one uh, on top and one on the bottom which means that you can just go and copy across the edits what where do you go <laughs> i think you got a bug here okay as a result you probably need to fix this the effects library didn't come up, but now it does. So now it's fine. Okay, fusion effects. This is the big change. Vector paint, rotoscoping. Oh, rotoscoping is so boring. You got everything you will ever need. And the amazing thing is the rotoscoping, I think, and, and how you can remove logos or, or all those things. I love After Effects. So this is exactly what I want. Unfortunately, I have to learn it which sucks but yeah what do you do so you go from the renderer to the merge and then you connect everything and then you can just write but it, it, this is super advanced so i don't expect anybody to you know not be intimidated by this whole thing because you have like these node structures that's super advanced but hey 
It takes time to learn because it's so advanced. That's the way it is. Just live with it. Okay, on to color correction. Legendary quality. Like, there's no news in, in the color panels. And that's because it's so good. It's so superior to everything else out there. It is perfect as it is. Before you could just uh, like dim all of them or you could just do the one that's selected. Now you can select which ones you want and just quiet those down. You have a LUT uh, gallery where you can pick the LUTs and you can preview them. This will make it so much quicker to kind of find a look based on LUTs. I would recommend you do a properly <laughs> graded, clean up, all that before you start playing around with LUTs. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to use uh, the color section in Resolve, in my opinion. Uh, the noise reduction actually has a new feature. So let's just find something that can be a little bit noisy, a little bit smoother, a little bit more detailed. So loving that. But it is slow to render, so you shouldn't do noise reduction if you don't have to. A lot of people... A lot of people struggle. They do. It's, it's true. But other than that, not so much in the color section. Then we go to the Fairlight, which feels a little bit more stable, a little bit more snappy. The biggest change here is the effects that are available wherever you are, plus the sound library and the ADR. Analog ADR, uh, uh, additional dialogue replacement, maybe? Yeah, so you can actually record this is for feature uh, fiction, mainly, like fiction stuff. Not, not feature, but this is for fiction, maybe. Probably. This is for fiction, not documentaries, mainly. Uh, because you replace dialogue with, you know, you record it as you watch it. You record it and get it synced, like the Hollywood uh, stuff does. But a big thing here is also that the effects, they have presets. Uh, effects library is obviously huge because you can copy and paste those. How can you not add that feature? You have to do it for the release that's gonna come. It's just... Finally, like the export section, you don't have much that's new, but you ha do have this Netflix option, which can be good for a Netflix director like me. One thing that they should add that they haven't added in this version is an auto-upload to YouTube. Please, Da Vinci, Blackmagic people, do it. Just do it. There needs to be an auto upload. I can't be sitting here after waiting for the export, then, you know, being here instead of with my kids. It doesn't make sense. You know that. You have kids. <coughs> Subscribe, like, uh, let me know what your favorite stuff in the new Da Vinci Resolve 15 is.